Good afternoon from College Park, Maryland 75, Indiana 59. Wasn't really that close. This is a big dog. Post game show, Wayne Viner, Mason Viner, Bruce Foster. Bruce, what'd you see today? Well, you look at Callen's line, it was unbelievable. I don't know the final, but he had 15 points or six assists, no turnovers. The whole team, until the very end, only had five turnovers. And most of those were early. And Indiana, for some inexplicable reason, kept firing up threes. And they were made, they were one for 16. Or maybe well, they hit the final two, but they were well, they the just part horrible. That counted. Yeah. Yeah. Mason, yeah. yeah. what do you got? I was sitting with uh, some Indiana fans behind us, and they were just they were waiting for it. Like, it's been happening all season. They just jacked threes up. Indiana scores on average 79.1 points a game. They only get 59 today. Maybe they jack up some threes, but I think a lot of that goes to Maryland's defensive intensity. Yeah, I think the Terps brought it. For once, um, you know, there are some plays you can point at and say that uh, maybe, you know, like when Cowan stepped into the guy and broke his ankles. That's bad basketball for 30 seconds, but right. at home in front of a near sold out crowd, it goes in. Uh, Nickens. They're not Nickens. Nickens. Wiggins. Wiggins. Wiggins is great. Wiggins had an ankle breaker. Sticks us reverse dunk. Donta Scott with a tomahawk. Boy, Maryland was flying today. There was there was a spell in the second half. Well, I think they scored, what, 14 in a yeah. row? Or yep. 23 to 3 run was it spectacular. Went, it, went, it went from 33 to 30 to 69 to 41. And that's about how the game went. But look. I said it this morning, I said they're going to win easy, they're going to beat Ohio State, and it all comes down to the road games, but let's be real, they didn't miss the Mitchells today. Nope. No, Shoal, they didn't. I no. love the clapping for Shoal. It's like the Viking skull thing. Yep. When the fans, especially lower bowls, see him, I hope they push that a little bit around here. It's really cool. Clearly the fan favorite, one of the most instant fan favorites I've ever seen here is Shaw Muriel. He only had one basket, yep. had, he had more fouls than points, but it's just so much fun to see him in the game. Uh, we're going to take a break here. We need to get into the Indiana presser. So we'll be back at College Park, 75-59. Terps on the Big Dog postgame show. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win, and you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing, and you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. Bruce is still 2.2 seconds. That ball was not touched, but has brought over through the receiver. Player for Maryland Wiggins into Cowan. Fade away at the buzzer. Short. That'll do it. Here on the Big Dog post game show. We'd also the Dream like Team. The Dream Team is on the court now as Cordell steps in. We'd like to thank Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville, Viner Four Gates of Rockville, and of course the Big Dog, Rick Jacklich, the man to see for any kind of accident, any kind of personal injury is the big dog. All right, we got the split box score up in front of us. The stats, look, they're not that far off, the stats aren't, percentage-wise. Stats lie, it, was, it wasn't a game. I mean, Terps got ahead, they ran away. Cordell, what were your thoughts? Uh, honestly, look, from the box score to just watching the game, it was more of a balanced attack from Maryland. Really, Indiana had one score. Maryland's got four guys in double digits. Jalen Smith just completely asserted himself the entire second half. Really, the big three, him, Cowan, and uh, Wiggins, really took off in the second half to give Maryland the separation that they needed. But it started on defense for sure. 
Indiana had any shot in this game, it had to be early when Maryland started off cold. And Maryland was winning, like I think 22-16. At that point, you kind of knew it was over. You got to get up on Maryland here. Yeah, absolutely. This could be, look, it's one day, but it's a great day right now. Great day for Maryland. Mason, final thoughts? Yeah, it's a great win. Uh, nice crowd out here. They got fans were into it. It's just there's something different about playing here. No know. doubt. The joint will be rocking Tuesday, Wayne. Ohio State comes in off of their loss to Wisconsin, but it's another big night. This almost was like an ACC Saturday. Yes, I agree. All right, real quick. I got the two dogs today in the NFL, Buffalo and Tennessee. You? Don't care. You? I'll take Buffalo and New England. I'm going to take Buffalo and New England, too. Oh, you front runners. You front runners. All right, what about tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we got Philadelphia. Not take a Philly. I'm going with uh, Seattle's Seattle. a lock. Yeah, a lock. Seattle. And then New Orleans and New Orleans is a New lock. Orleans. A living right. lock. Isn't anybody? It's uh, the Vikings and uh, yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. I'll take those two. I'll take yeah. New Orleans and Seattle. All, All right. right. Hey, the last time the Vikings played the Saints, that was the Diggs miracle touchdown. In yeah. the playoffs. Be no miracles this week. Well, that Kirk Cousins will need one. That'll do it from College Park. It is a happy Saturday. Remember to watch our player interviews and the coaches' uh, post-game press conferences Monday. And Monday, you, you catch Bruce on WNST in Baltimore with Science and Kirk's uh, in the nest Monday mornings. And no nest tomorrow because the Ravens aren't playing. And Wednesday, Turp Talk, you'll hear me and Wayne. All righty. Good afternoon from College Park.